Hi, I'm Jess and today I'm going to be doing my top 10 books of 2015. I didn't want to do a top 15 of 2015 just because I didn't think I could get enough books and I think I'd just be adding them just because and not really because they were my top ones. So I've not done them in an order, I've just done them in this 10 here that I really loved. So let's get started. So the first one is Slam by Colleen Hoover. This was my first Colleen Hoover book and I adored it. And I also have um, another Colleen Hoover book on here. I want to read more Colleen Hoover in 2016 because I absolutely adored the ones I read. Slammed is full of slam poetry and great characters and a great romance. And I absolutely loved it and would recommend it to anyone it, as long as you don't mind adult content it's it's great and I loved it so the next one is also a Colleen Hoover book and that is maybe someday and this was probably what one of my favorites of the year it also is accompanied by an album uh, by Griffin Peterson which I absolutely loved I would listen to it just as the songs were written in the book so it's about a songwriter who breaks up with her boyfriend and ends up living with this boy across the road who uh, she has amazing chemistry with but he's got a girlfriend so they write songs together but they're trying to not have so much chemistry and they're both aware of it but they're trying to keep a friendship and I really really loved it I really 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 loved it I loved their relationship and I loved the direction in which it went I don't think it went in the direction that I thought it was going to go and that I was worried it was going to go Next was Carry On by Rainbow Rowell and this book was so good. I read it all on a train back to York and I loved it. It was so good. Simon and Baz are just so cute together. It's a story, it's basically the fan fiction from Fangirl but not the fan fiction if that makes sense. It's Rainbow Rowell's take on the fan, fa fan fiction in Fangirl and it's really really good and I really loved it. The magic system in this world is amazing. It's so different from anything that I've read before and I really enjoyed it. Next was one of my university books which I was quite surprised about and that is Never Let Me Go by Kazuru Ishiguro and I loved studying this book. I really wish I'd been able to write on it um, but it was for my creative writing course not my um, English course and so I wanted to do a creative piece for that assignment rather than a analytical but if I'd written on this I would have so much enjoyed it because it was so good I really loved reading this it's one of my favorites that I read for university and I'd watched the film before and it didn't hinder my enjoyment at all because they both feel very similar to each other and I really really enjoyed it. Next was Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. It's very different explores mental illness and romance in a way that I've not had explored before in YA and it was just really good. It follows a girl who is allergic to everything so she has to stay in stores and then this boy named next door and she really likes him and they speak over like Facebook and stuff and then he comes to her house and she really wants to like go outside and stuff but she can't. It's really great. The next one was a new series for me and that was the Winner's Curse series and I started this at the beginning of the year because I got the Winner's Crime for a view and I absolutely adored it. I didn't expect to adore this but I did. It's a political fantasy so it's not really uh, got any magical elements in it but it's still a fantasy but it was just really good and I really love it. I have reviews for all of these which I will link down below but I just don't think that big massive descriptions are good in this video. The next is Simon vs. the Homo Sovian's Agenda and I love this not for its issues that it did, not for portraying gay romance, but for portraying a great romance. It doesn't matter that it was a boy and a boy, it mattered that it was so cute and adorable and that's the essence of this book and I really really loved it. Next was another surprising one that I just picked up because I was interested in it and that was The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Edier. I was reading this during university and so I didn't think I was going to have a lot of time to read so I was just picking up random books that I might read quickly and enjoy and so I picked up this one and I read it within two days which was unbelievable with all, with university because I just don't read very well at university and so I absolutely loved it. It's a retelling of A Thousand and One Nights and it's so great. I definitely didn't expect to love this one as much as I did. Next was An Ember in the Ashes. I got this for review during, near the beginning of the year and it was so good. It was different from anything I've read. There's no romance in it and it's a fantasy 
um, and it's got a female character and a male character, and it's great, and I really, really loved it, and I have a review with more adept thoughts down below. And lastly is The Martian, and again, I didn't expect this to be as funny as it was, I didn't expect to love this as much as I did, and I really need to watch the movie because I haven't yet, and I'm so excited to see Matt Damon play one of my favourite characters because he's so funny, and I really want to see that on screen because I think it'd just be hilarious, and... Um, Oh, I just love it, and I want to watch the movie as soon as I possibly can. So that was my top 10 favourite books of 2015. Let me know down below any books you read in 2015 that you really loved, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.